everyone and welcome back to Phantom Files. Today's episode is going to be a little <laughs> disorganized, I guess. And who knows, by the time I edit the video, it might be just perfect and spot on, but that's not the vibe I'm quite getting <laughs> from what I'm trying to piece together here. So in today's episode, it's called The Cursed Doll because Josh Hurd, the co-owner of Melvern, has this doll that he keeps in a wooden and glass box. Now, there is a rosary hanging from it. There is a sign on it that talks about the blessing of this holy water. Now, I would highly doubt that the holy water was actually splashed on the doll because, well, I mean, what's the point of having a cursed doll when you are trying to expel the demons? <laughs> but I would almost bet that the casing itself might have been anointed with holy water. I am hoping to get more information about the doll from Josh as soon as he's done with some of his filming projects. I know he's been very, very busy lately. So as soon as I get information from him, I will place the information in the description below this video. <laughs> Hopefully that will be soon. <laughs> he's very hard to get a hold of. All right, so there's something that I kind of noticed about the doll. I started recording and then her eyes kind of look like it really focused in on the camera. It's like at first kind of like, yeah, whatever. Oh, wait a minute. You're recording. You know, it was kind of creepy. <laughs> I had a hard time looking through the viewfinder. I am not responsible for anybody who stares at this doll and gets cursed. Okay. <laughs> um, actually, just in case there are people who are kind of apprehensive about viewing a cursed doll. I will put a timestamp below of when that filming stops and moves on to the next topic. So of course I'm gonna post the videos that I recorded of the doll. I just wanna know what your impressions are. If you kind of notice when her energy shifts and stares at the camera. Um, there was a second part of the clip that something was going on with her hand which I found to be rather interesting. So it'd be kind of cool to know what you guys think. The second part of this video, Trisha and I are goofing off with a fog machine. <laughs> and I had a little bit of technical difficulties. So I will get into that here a little bit later in this clip, but let's go on and check out the doll. So this is some of the creepy collection that belongs to Josh Hurd here at Melvern Manor. Earlier this evening, I said that this doll moved. Didn't know if you wanted to do something or say something for the, the camera. It is hard looking at you in the eyes. Are you, you okay with moving for the camera? It's okay if you're not ready. It's okay if you don't want to. Just that I show the world. Because I think it's pretty amazing that you can move. This doll supposedly also moves, plays music. That was very intense for the camera, my dear.
They were watching her and claimed that she moved. So I don't know. I'm just showing people the red mark on her wrist. It almost looks like the bracelet is burning her. Can you move your foot? Oops, sorry. You know what was really weird is when I was leaving this office, I could have swear I heard something go, Mama. I'm like, what? And of course I had nothing going at that time. So, like I said, that bracelet that looked like it was kind of burning her wrist and hand, I found rather fascinating. A little bit intriguing there. Why was her hand looking red like that? It just, it was just odd. It was, it was weird. Okay, so the second part of this video, I promised you guys a fog machine, right? <laughs> okay, so... This is Trisha and I in the Shadow Man hallway. What we were trying to do with this fog machine was do a sensory overload where, you know, between the fog and using like a spirit box, you know, just all the noise, all the... Okay, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Some investigators like to do a sensory deprivation where they wear a blindfold and they have this headset that cancels out noise and the only thing you can hear is you know, answers from the spirit box where an, an investigator will be in a, a complete different room and they will ask a question and they'll have a camera on the other investigator and then they will just say what the spirit box answers, which is a really cool technique. Unfortunately, I have a fear of being blindfolded. Um, it, it really freaks me out, causes high anxiety. I don't know if I will ever try that experiment. So we decided to do the flip side of that, a sensory overload where, yes, you still can't see anything because you're surrounded by, by fog, but you are not blindfolded. You, your senses of sight are just filled with just everything around you. It didn't quite work out as planned. It turned out to be a really funny video that I wanted to share with you, but I stumbled upon some technical difficulties <laughs> when trying to create this video. So first of all, I had to learn how to save a video from a Facebook Live. Now I do have a website that does step-by-step, -step, so in case any of you have videos that you wish to share, from Facebook, because when you hit save, like, yeah, you want to save the video, but it saves it onto Facebook only. If you want to save it onto your computer, please check out the link below. I will title that in the second thing. So I thought, okay, I saved this video and I'm just going to put it in Premiere Pro and then I'll be able to edit it. It screwed up the audio here. I, I just want you guys to listen to it for a moment because... It was freaking hilarious. So this is not creepy as fuck. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Am I supposed to say fuck on what? Facebook Live? You didn't say fuck. Can I say fuck? Okay. <laughs> creepy as I'll get out. So what am I supposed to do with that? audio that's in slow motion. What, what the heck? Ugh. So I had to do more searching and, and digging and I finally found this YouTuber that says, you know, if you take this video onto an online converter and turn it into a movie, the audio and the video will sync up. I will also share that link below because I'm sure that there's other people that um, are watching this that are also youtubers as well and this information might be of some use so let's roll into the real clip without any audio drag okay what you're looking at here is maven's uh 
fog machine putting in um, some fog down in the Shadow Man hallway. So if this is not creepy as fuck, I don't know what is. <laughs> Am I supposed to say fuck on what, Facebook Live? You can say fuck. Can fuckity, I say fuck? Fuckity, fuckity, fuck, fuck, okay. fuck. <laughs> it's creepy as I'll get out. Um, I kind of want to run through it. Like, here, watch this. Go for it. Yep. Oh, this stuff. <laughs> it smells weird. Well, it smells weird. It's weird, but it kind of smells good. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> this is, oh God. You know, if that starts shooting out, I'm going to make you jump. <laughs> it came on and scared the hell out of me. It like comes on and it stops. <laughs> okay, add up to three guests. No, I don't have no guests. So anyway, we've got some people that are going to be coming down. We're still in Malvern Manor. Uh, Maven has not scared me again, fortunately. Ooh, it's clear up here, too. Oh, wow. I swear to God I didn't fart. That's fog. <laughs> it's not fog for my ass, either. It's fog. Uh, I yeah. wonder what parts would look like in the fog. In the fog. Just I saying. <laughs> don't. I'm, as, as I'm not <laughs> testing. Yeah, I don't fart. So, you know, I whisper in my panties. <laughs> Putting that in your video. I don't know. I okay, we are having way too much fun. We are sober. Okay, I'll just say that. We're drunk on life and paranormal explorations. Um, go visit my friend Maven's uh, Phantom Files on YouTube and her book club on Facebook, yes, and Instagram, please. and everywhere else. Um, you can watch our shenanigans. Hashtag insanity. <laughs> God, this is nasty. <laughs> Um, I don't even know if I'm still going. Oh, it says live. Is anybody there? Like anybody watching this? Nobody's saying comments. They're like, you crazy bitch. You know, if that ball starts rolling. That'd be fucking awesome. Hmm. Balls. Ball. <laughs> Single ball. <laughs> yeah, so I was playing with my portal earlier. And uh, if anybody has any tips on how to tweak a portal, I would totally be up for that. Because it just kind of seemed like it wasn't loud enough. And then it seems like we got some responses through it. I don't know. But. Your shadow just freaking scared me. Seriously? Because over here I'm just going to tilt your arm a little bit. Yeah. On that door you moved your arm and it casted like a shadow like through this area. And I'm like what the freak is that? Oh my god it's a head looking at us. I don't oh, know there. how you're moving I don't arm. know. I don't know how I did yeah, it. Yeah but. Yeah, so anyway, I um, highly recommend Malvern Manor. Josh Hurd is an amazing host. Um, he's the host with the most. Um, <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Bad jokes. He's it the totally... host with the most bad jokes. There we go. No, I thought that's me. <laughs> I thought that was me. Um, yeah, so uh, there's the hallway that I was talking about earlier that was... Oh, shit. I got 5% battery on my phone. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Anyway, I was just showing kind of what we're doing. Um, I've never used a fog machine. Maven, um, this is her second attempt at getting one. Last time we just kind of didn't have all the... Oh, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I turned Did off you... the light. God damn it, Maven. I wanted you to get the full effect before you That's pretty right sweet. That is pretty sweet, I'm, actually. I'm just saying that is fucking awesome. Okay, go down there. Can you go down there and come back? Like, is that going to freak you out? <laughs> no, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No, no, we're done. We are done. We are done. We are done. <laughs> I'm sorry. We are done. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I snorted. Yeah, that was cool. All right. Well, like, okay. All right. Testing. One, two, three. Okay. So that doesn't, you can't even see that, can you? Can't you can't even well, I kicked the ball. Did you kick the ball? Okay. Yeah. You can't even see the grid through. If I hear red room, red room, I'm fucking out of here. Excuse me. That Maybe. sucks. Yeah, that's not going to work. What if you put it down there and aim it this way? <laughs> but you have to go down but there. Then, well, I mean, first off, you'd have to go down there. This. Second of all, oh, God. Yeah, go for it. Um... I only have five percent battery. You want me to come down? Yes, come I with come me. Come down with you. These people are like, what in the <laughs> world? Oh my god, this I is know so it. <laughs> This is why I stopped. <laughs> You're laughing at me. You think I'm fucking crazy? I'm gonna tell with you. Oh my god, I'm gonna push my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook 
life, my husband's going to disown me. Everybody. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're laughs quick. <laughs> anyway, highly recommend Malvern Manor. Um, <laughs> I swear to God, I'm sober. It reminds me of that TikTok. <laughs> you'll find out how she really laughs at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay so you saw us goofing off with a fog machine it just got way too much we started coughing too much um there were other investigators with us you know because it was kind of like a friend group type thing um a group event and we got smoked out of that back hallway so it didn't quite work out but we did capture a few responses on the Mel meter. Now, before I show you that clip, there was another clip that I recorded. And at first I was so excited because what the fog did was allowed us to see shadows in the hallway, more shadows than what we would normally see. And I, I kid you not, I thought I saw like legs going across the hallway and I was like, oh my God. And I, I caught it on my phone and I was like, yes, yes. I was so excited. Finally caught that shadow figure. And then I reviewed the video and I saw nothing. So all I can do is chalk it up to a personal experience that I saw on my phone as I'm recording down the dark hallway of the shadow man hallway that I saw this shadow walk from left to right. Um, that being said, um, I will go on and post the video with the Mel meter and have you guys check out some of the responses that we were getting. So let's just go on and roll into the clip. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't able to click on my video I fast got, enough. I got my, um, Did we provide enough humor for you? Okay, we're down in Malvern Manor. Um, I just put Woo! a pod down there. Well, it's my millimeter with rum pod feature. Um, <clears throat> I hope it is. But so it started going off just a second ago. It stopped. Um, is is anybody down there? Thank you. Do you like that gadget? If you do, can you step closer to it? Oh, so you did like... Oh, shit, that went all the way up the wrist. <clears throat> can you step away, please? Whoa. That's pretty awesome. Um, now I'm flabbergasted. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> so... be interesting if you could get any kind of thermal stuff. You don't have your thermal stuff with you. Not, you? not with me, no. Oh. Wow. Shit. Okay, can you, thank you. Thank you. Can you step away? Can you step away, please? Are you a male spirit? If you are, can you step closer to it? If you were a female spirit, can you step close to that item and make it go off, please? Silence. Yeah. It's like I 
an audience now. I'm not going to do it. I know. Can you please step closer to the item over there that you just were touching, please? <clears throat> Are you shy now because there's multiple people behind me? Thank you for showing yourself to us. Thank you. We're not here to harm you. We would just like to interact with you, maybe hear your voice, learn your story, see if there's anything we can help you with. If there's anything that we can help you with, can you step close to that that green light there? Silence. I whispered her head silence. Nice. Okay. Record that. It was really exciting for me. Thank you very much. I've never had any piece of equipment go off down there by that door. Oh, thank you. Can you step away, please? If you're a male spirit, can you step away, please? Thank you. If you're a male spirit, can you go near it now? If you were a male in life, if you were a female in your life, when you were living and breathing, can you go near the machine again, the green light? If you are not human, can you go near the green light? Are you something other than a former living human being? No, because I'm busy um, looking at the fog and stuff, and I'm seeing like stuff flying toward the camera. I'm hoping, uh, I'm pretty of, sure. Yeah, I was about to even say when there's not the fog in here is dust. Here, and yeah, there's so much dust, and you can't even really, you couldn't even see it with your naked eye, but it was like clear that it was dust most of the time. There was a few things that I was like, mm, not sure about. <clears throat> Are you still here? Can you go near the green light again, please? To let me know that you're still here. Oh, crap, my knees hurt. My butt doesn't hang out. Sorry, if you guys see crack. Are you known by the name of Damien? If you are, can you go near the green light again? The item on the floor won't hurt you. Can you do something to show us that you're still here, please? <coughs> I don't think my phone's going to record too much more. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to do too much more. I mean, we want to 
with some other stuff up. Yeah. Let's maybe see. give them some space. Yeah. Well, we're going to do some other stuff right now. So if you would like to get our attention again, you can walk over by that, float over, make your presence by it, and it should go off like it did before in a rainbow color. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.